So as you can see, here are the default icons in Windows 2000. And while these are much nicer than the icons in some of the newer versions of Windows, uh, some users may prefer the older icons from Windows 95 and Windows 98. And in Windows 2000, it's very easy to change uh, the icons back, uh, at least compared to newer versions of Windows. And so to change icons, you simply right click on the desktop and go to properties. And if you go to the effects tab, you'll get this window, which also exists in newer versions of Windows, although it's a lot more difficult to get to it. But once you're here, uh, for all of these icons, you can simply change the icon. So for the computer, it's pretty straightforward. It's this icon right here. Click OK. And then for the recycle bin here, go all the way over to the right. And you'll see there's actually multiple recycle bins here. Uh, there's these different kinds of recycle bins, but uh, the the correct recycle bin for the desktop, um, and that was used in, in Windows 98, for example, was these two. Um, so for the full recycle bin, we want this icon here. And then for the empty recycle bin, we want this icon here. And now if you apply these changes, you'll see that these icons have now become their Windows 98, 95 counterparts. Um, the more difficult one here would be the My Network Places one, actually, um, because if you if you look through these icons, um, just eyeballing it, I don't see anything that looks quite uh, quite exactly like the Network Neighborhood icon from Windows 98. I guess you could approximately settle for something like this. It's not the right one, but it's it's not terrible either. So if we click apply there, we get that, which which looks pretty decent. And if you want, you can even go the whole nine yards and just rename this to Network Neighborhood. And uh, now this is looking, at least the desktop is looking a lot more like uh, Windows 98, at least the desktop icons. You'll want to change the the color of your true aim is to actually make it look like Windows 98. But if you just want to change the icons, it's very simple to do so. And uh, here you can see we've got some of the older icons from Windows 98 here in Windows 2000.